Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So Aries, what I see is that there is someone who it's it's like it's complicated. Okay. It's this person could frustrate you. They might challenge you. And it's a situation that feels very complicated. And I feel like you may be feeling like you're not going to get your wish. Like there's, with the star in reverse here, it indicates not seeing any sign that you're going to receive. It doesn't mean you won't. It just means that you're not seeing any sign at this moment or you haven't seen any sign lately that you might get your wish. Now, it could also mean that perhaps the timing is not right. So be careful in this energy, okay? Um, because you could easily make a mistake here thinking you're not going to get it and end up making a wrong choice, okay? So I'll, I'll get to that, but I mean, be careful, okay? I mean, if I could tell you one thing at this time, it would be not to give up hope, okay? So the star reverse um, doesn't mean you won't get it. It just simply means the timing may not be quite right, okay? So... I feel like there's something that this person wants to get off their chest, needs to get off their chest, having to do with your wish. I feel like, well, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Um, and so this is them... Um, needing to face their fears, needing to get honest, uh, not just with you, but with themselves, and actually primarily first with themselves and then with you, okay? Two of cups in the reverse. Oh, well, in, in this card could indicate that something feels like it got broken, like it didn't work. Um, it can also indicate that there's some role playing going on here. Again, this falls into line with the feeling I have not to give up hope. I feel like this person is uh, deliberately not telling you the truth. Um, the two of cups in reverse can speak to masks and role playing and so I feel like they are playing a role right now and not telling you how they really feel okay and the reason is they are terrified you may get or have gotten this phone call here but it could be any kind of communication where they were playing a role, um, where they were not being honest. This is somebody who is running from, from this connection, um, and yet in the same breath, they can't stay away from it or let it go, but yet they're not willing to dive in and be honest about it, you know. This wasn't planned. The Seven of Swords in reverse indicates something that wasn't planned. It wasn't planned for them to fall in love. It wasn't supposed to happen this way, you know. Um, so this person has information contained in that book that you don't have. They're hiding it. Um, this is a decision 
by this person whether or not to reveal this information. They've got it tucked under their arm there. They've been holding it there for some time, you know. Um, with death, um, this is them needing to face their own ghosts and face their fears in order to proceed. That's what they would need to do. They have some very intense feelings for you here. Um, and they want to reach for this opportunity. And that is what their decision is about. So this can indicate they may have to choose between two people or two things. Okay. I'm thinking it's two things that they need to choose between. Okay. And here we see the Nine of Swords. So they're role playing but I'm telling you that this person I feel feel has a bit of a guilty conscience for for the role that they are playing right now because I feel like their heart really wants to be honest with you it's the mind uh, and the ghosts that stop it okay oh my god oh <laughs> look at this there's the book <laughs> We have the books here. Look at that. What's he carrying under his arm? The book. <laughs> I didn't realize the books were there. Okay, so, oh, this is just so interesting. You see, the card that the books are sitting on, this nine of, of shields, um, okay, in this deck, it's like an, it, it's an unseen threat. <laughs> It just, I mean, it just makes so much sense. I can just see everything here. I, I can, I can picture this person, and um, and everything just seems to fall into line like a little movie. And so, there they are, feeling this unseen threat. And so they're they're all armored up, and they've they're they've got all of this this information, all of the truth all of the truth contained in this book and they're not telling they're not talking they're not talking because there's an unseen threat what is the unseen threat for this person well it's ghosts of the past somebody really hurt this person in the past and they are terrified that it's going to happen again this person has really had their heart broken Speaking of broken hearts, <laughs> the three of love. And so this is wanting to move away from heartbreak and upset. It's like they're trying to avoid love. Like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't planned. It wasn't supposed to happen. But it did. And so now they have to deal with all of these feelings, deal with all of these ghosts. It's why the timing is not quite right. This is a transitional period for this person. And because of the night that is here, it is going to take time. And that's a repeating night, same night here. But they tell a little different story. But they are the same night. So... What he's done, and uh, same night, only this time he doesn't have a book. In fact, he doesn't really have anything, I don't think. No, he's reaching for it. The coin that has been put on, uh, on a shelf, he wants it. He wants to reach for it. Okay. Because it is heartbreaking to love and 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 feel like you can't tell that person feel like you can't commit to that person because you're so afraid here's the inner conflict on this eight of wands um, you can see there's a couple behind you see but the couple is actually uh, two versions <laughs> of himself and he's arguing back and forth. That's what this is in this particular deck. 
And so he doesn't know how to proceed. It's what he's conflicted over how to proceed with this, what to do about it, because it just wasn't planned. It wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be like a few dates and that's it. <laughs> Over, you know. A little fun. <laughs> Over. But that's not how it turned out. Um, I feel like I feel like you Aries are looking at your options and it feels almost bittersweet you know because uh one minute I'm just gonna mute my phone so it doesn't do that oh, one minute <laughs> Okay, I have it. I have it on mute now. So no more disturbances. So um, Yeah, I feel like it's it's kind of like bittersweet because I feel like this would have been the one you to you you choose I feel like you have options because of the grapes, but the grapes can also be bittersweet. So I feel like You feel like you're not going to get your wish Okay, it's here, it's in the reverse, and you feel like you're not going to get it because you haven't seen any sign of it. But that doesn't mean, I'm telling you, it doesn't mean you're not going to get it. It's just that the timing is not right for it to happen. <laughs> Aries, and I'm thinking of Aries, and I'm thinking... Oh my God, they've got to be patient. <laughs> I mean, patience is almost a lesson for them because they're not very patient, you know. And so um, uh, it's just making me think of that now because I know they have to be patient and that's going to be a, a bit of a challenge for them. And so, uh, Aries, uh, you will have to be patient, I'm afraid. This is something that could take time. Um will take time, but it will be uh, worth it in the end. Your patience, let's say this way, your patience will be rewarded. But currently, you are taking a deeper look at your options. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, you could see this person just show up. Eh? I mean, they could just whoop, show up. Just like that. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but it just came from. I see, do see a visitor here, but I, I feel like it could be unannounced. I feel like, almost like there's a bit of a panic on this. Like um, they want to extend the olive branch because like they don't want to lose you. Um, they don't want to fight either, but they're just maybe not ready to open up about why they are the way they, they are or why things are the way that they are, okay? Because they know that you want more, all right? But they are maybe not yet ready to give you more. And they don't want to walk away from you. They don't. And they don't want you to walk away from them. They think of you. Okay, and I think that uh, their heart is breaking over this. So here they're thinking and they know what to do. Okay, so and they're, they're going to go see you. That's what, that's what they're thinking about. They're thinking, they're thinking, and uh, they, they, they're, they're trying to understand what they can do to fix this. And so I feel like they've come up with an idea, a way to fix it. Uh, temporarily maybe um, but you I see that there is a visit here and by the way this is not this this is a separate thing and this is another thing I see that Somebody's in a lot of pain. Um, 
I feel like they're, yeah, okay, they have a wish too, you know, <laughs> and I feel like you guys are wishing for the same thing, um, even though this was not planned for them, they do recognize the connection, okay, because they've felt a connection like this before the thing is in the past it broke their heart and so they don't really trust it you know because that is the deeper issue behind their ten of swords pain um, they're so afraid to make a wrong choice you see there you are Aries and um, they are very very attracted to you but they're so afraid to make a wrong choice. You, you, I'll try to get these up to the camera here. Look at that. I feel like Aries, they talk about you. Uh, maybe to somebody or to a friend. You know, who may offer some advice. Um, the medicine is here and I feel like things could get worse before they get better so I feel like this could be about um, patience uh, of course this person is trying to heal they're so afraid they're going to get burned uh, with the comet here um, the comet could also represent something that just comes out of the blue um, They could get so afraid that just out of the blue they could walk away or 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 you could get so frustrated with them that you could walk away. I I feel like it's going to get worse before it gets better. That's what I feel. I I feel because first of all you, you I'm sorry. <laughs> before I say it I'm sorry. I feel like you're lacking patience. Okay? And um, I feel like they, look at this, oh my god, look at this, this person, either, either they're going to walk away or you're going to send them walking away or give them their walking papers and they're not letting you see how they feel. Look how their heart is covered. Look how the eyes are down. <laughs> I mean, if you look in their eyes, for sure you're going to know. Right? So they're just not going to let you see. But this person is interested in you. Look, there's you in the background watching them walk away. So, I think though, even if this break did happen... I feel like they would return. I feel like it wouldn't be long, you know, before they'd make up with you. <laughs> because they do love you, ultimately. They're going through a very difficult uh, phase, transition here. And they have to learn to trust again. They have to learn to take that chance on love again. They need to heal their heart so that they can open up to love again. And this is not going to happen overnight. So if you really have these strong feelings for this person, then you must be willing to wait it out. Okay. Remember what I said. The wish card is in the reverse. But that doesn't mean you're not going to get it or that you've lost it. It just means the timing is not yet right for it to happen. That's what it means for you, Aries, and for this person. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.